Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm doing a video that is called Why I Returned to My Echo Spot. Now, here's the thing. This is a really great start for uh, Amazon. I really like this device. There's a lot of uh, benefits to it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the reasons I returned it. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you what I like about it and ultimately my final conclusion that led me to uh, return it. Um, the first thing is that um, I think this device is great for someone who uh, is going to really take advantage of, of everything that it does. Okay. Uh, for example, it has a camera on the front right here, which will allow you to do video calls. Um, it has a screen that kind of cycles news so you can, you know, see it, you know, show you different like uh, news stories and you can customize what it shows you and uh, it's also a Bluetooth speaker and it's a this and it's a that and, and, and all that's great. But the reason that I bought it was I was looking for a replacement for my alarm clock in my bedroom. And I was like, oh cool, this would be a great replacement because it shows you the time. It also links you up with all your other devices. I can quickly, you know, stream Pandora or stream my music. Um, and it'll be great for that. Um, so that's all I used it for. And I was like, man, I paid 130 bucks for a, like a smart alarm clock. And to me, that was, wasn't the smartest move, just to be totally honest. Um, it's great to, you know, go to bed and say, hey, you know, um, set the alarm for this time, you know, and not have to like get on your phone and play with, you know, like open your app and do it. Like it's easy to just tell this device to do it and it does it. But to me, like, I paid too much money for a device to do that. So I found myself just unnecessarily thinking, hey, like this device is really cool, but like it just, it, it doesn't do enough for me. So for example, I don't use the video calling feature. Uh, I only use the, the regular calling, calling other Echo devices because my, you know, dad and brother have one every now and then they're messing around and we'll use it. But I don't really use that feature. Um, it does have the ability to play videos. You could like tell it to play a video from Amazon Prime and it will. And that's cool, but the screen is way too small to watch a video on it. So really like having the screen doesn't do too much more for you. Even if you ask it, hey, what's the weather and all that, like, like it'll show you the weather, but you can also just ask it what the weather is and it'll tell you and there's no need to see it on the screen. So um, ultimately the conclusion that I came down to is that um, it wasn't worth the money for how I wanted to use it. Uh, when I began to weigh out the pros and cons, I said to myself, it would probably be smarter to just return this and to get another, um, echo, um, echo dot. That's only 50 bucks. This is 130. And the Echo Dot, guess what? Like I can still play music in my room. I can still ask it what the time is. I can still play music, you know, and like those little basic things I need to do, I can do. And you know, I'm not paying over a hundred bucks for that. Um, I don't think it's, it's worth it. Even though it's, again, it's a really cool looking device. I think that when Amazon can get the price down to under a hundred bucks, I think it'll make a little bit more sense for this because it just, you know, if you put this side by side next to the Echo Show, the Echo Show has a bigger screen. So like it makes sense. A lot of things you can do on the screen, like you've got extra space to see it. But on this, it's just too small. So really the, it's great at showing you the time. It's great at, hey, I wanna change my watch face to something funner. Okay, cool, let's go into settings and let's change the clock face and have something cool, you know, I'm gonna have a digital clock today or I'm gonna take a picture of myself and I want a picture of me to be on the home screen or a picture of one of my family or friends or whatever, like it's great, but like it just wasn't worth the money. Basically, this is a, a very expensive alarm clock a very expensive smart alarm clock Bluetooth speaker. That's sort of my general conclusion after using this for over a month. And while it is a really cool device, it just wasn't worth the money for me. So I'm gonna return it and I'm gonna get an Echo Dot and I might even get, I might even upgrade to the Echo um, just the second generation Echo that's a hundred bucks because at least that one has like better sound. 
But then again, I don't even know if I need this crazy sound in the bedroom that I'm not even in very often. So um, that was my overall conclusion. Now, obviously what I, what I liked about it, and again, I'm in the midst of my ramble, hopefully you guys are following me. Um, it, it is a really fun device and it's nice to be able to just, you know, wake up, oh, I need to buy this at the store and, you know, ask it to, hey, you know, and I'm, I'm avoiding saying that the trigger word so that it doesn't keep going off in the video, but, you know, it's nice to be able to roll over and just say, hey, you know, add this to my shopping list, you know, and, and do all those things. But again, like you paid this extra money for this beautiful screen and all it really does is just show you the time. So to me, that's just not enough. Like Amazon's gotta figure out how to get that screen to do more. Now, um, so I mentioned that I don't use video calling. That's a big reason you would use the screen. Another big reason you would use the screen is if you had one of the um, security systems or like one of the, the doorbell camera systems where you could actually like see through your different cameras on your Echo device. Now, if I had that, guess what? I would totally keep this because how awesome would it be to be laying in bed, you hear a sound and you say, hey, you know, pull up my camera in the kitchen and it'll show you your security camera in the kitchen. Like that would be a great reason to keep this device, but I don't have that. So uh, since I don't have the cameras and since I don't really use the video calling um, for those reasons, uh, I'm out <laughs> as the sharks say on Shark Tank. Um, I think that the second and third generation of this product are going to be great. I think Amazon is going to figure out a lot of new and exciting things they can do. And, um, you know, it'll probably be a little bit of a slimmer design as well because it is, you know, it's, it's a big ball, a big ball, basically. I'm sure they'll figure out how to, you know, get it a little bit sleeker and nicer. But anyway, guys, hopefully you've actually watched all the way to the end and I've made some sense. Um, ultimately, uh, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. And uh, for those reasons, I'm out. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know, have you purchased one yourself and what has your experience been like? Or have you been thinking about getting one and has my video provided some insight into maybe why you want to get one or maybe why you don't want to get one? So um, let me know, guys. Uh, do me a favor, hit that like button, favorite share. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And also make sure you follow us on Instagram because we're doing monthly giveaways now. So if you want to win some stuff, hey, follow us and you'll... You'll end the drawing as easy as just leave me a comment on whatever our giveaway video for the month is. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have a good one.